Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Finally, I am here with a tutorial video using the Pat McGrath Hudopian Dream Palette. I create three looks today, and my hope is that this video will inspire you to create some looks. Uh, lots of glitter in this one, lots of shimmer. Just my favorite formula to play with. I had so much fun with this, so let's get into the first look. For my first look, I really wanted to do something, let me show you, with the peach shade, maybe the bronze shade, and the gold shade, so that's what we're gonna do. This one's gonna be more on the wearable side. <laughs> I'm going straight into the peach shade right here. This is a BK Beauty 201 brush, and I'm just putting that all over the crease, working this out as a transition. As you can see, this shade is very, very bright. It's going to give you a bright punch, so maybe this look is not going to be very wearable. But I want this to peek out from the other colors. We're also going to run this along the lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to take the brown shade. We don't really have too many options for depth in this palette, so this is it. So I'm just putting just a little bit of it on the outer corner. I'm going to take the original brush and we are going to blend it. I haven't used this shade yet, so I really want to. I'm going to apply this on the outer half of the lid. <gasps> it's beautiful, you guys. Look at this. This is what's going to make the look more wearable. My gosh, just put this all over the lid. So pretty. I'm going to take the artistry wand and I'm going to put this the inner half of the lid. And I told you guys I definitely wanted to use the gold shade today. And it's going to stick right onto the eyelid. By the way, if you're curious what brushes I'm using, if you see it has this marbled handle, it's going to be from the Sigma and Beauty Bird collaboration. I've been using these a lot in my most recent videos. You see? This is the star of this show right here. It gives you the dimension to the eye look, the glitter. This would have been more wearable had we not added this to the lid, but how could we not? I'm gonna reapply a little bit of the bronze shade back here. I'm taking this shade right here. It's like a shimmery, glittery pink. We're just going full glitter with these. I can't not with Pat McGrath, you know? <laughs> and I'm gonna apply this to the, I wanna say, inner three quarters of the lower lash line. I'm taking a small brush from Coastal Scents. Just keep that glitter going. Oh, this shade is beautiful. I'm taking some of that brown shade and putting it right on the lower lash line. Finally, we're using this shade as the highlight. Just right here. And here is the final look for the shadow. Just wait until we get the liner and the lashes on and you will see the final look. Okay, so here is the look with lashes. I did the little, the little fox eye thing. I don't know, I thought it would give it extra oomph since we're in Pat McGrath mode right now. But I love this look. This is going to be one of the more wearable looks that I do today. It is so pretty. I love the pink and gold. Such a good combo. Okay, super pumped for this next look. And by the way, all three of these looks are going to be glittery because that's the way I use Pat McGrath. <laughs> BK Beauty 201 brush and we're going into the mauve shade right here. There are only three matte shades in this palette, so I'm going to be reusing them a lot in this look. Honestly, I think there was some hot pink on this brush that I should have been more careful about. So let me get a new blending brush. This is the same brush, it just doesn't have any color on it. No, this color is bright though. Yeah, okay. I think there was a little bit of the hot color on there, but definitely brighter. All of the looks are gonna have these bright outer edges, aren't they? <laughs> We're gonna use this shade next. You wanna place it on the outer corner of the eyelid and the inner corner of the eyelid. Okay, and then blend that. Take the wand, a mixing medium, the glitter glue, whatever you have, pop it right in the center of the eyelid. We're gonna start off with this shade right here. This is that trio chrome that I'm not crazy about, but I'm gonna show you how I'm incorporating it. So I'm putting it on the outside of that brown that we used. I guess the inside of the brown that we used. But still leaving the centerpiece blank. 
Then we're gonna blend this into the crease color. The reason that I'm doing this is because the shift to this actually turns quite dark. So this shade can be used as a definition color. And then we shall be using the most amazing shade in this whole palette. Make sure you have a brush that you have a lot of control with because this one is more flaky, but I'm gonna fill in the center. And you can see the glitter particles in here are a little bit less fine compared to some of the other formulas in here. But that's okay, that's what's going to make the magic in this look. Kind of let the glitters go everywhere. It's okay if it looks a little bit messy. Reapply any of the colors that you need to. And honestly, I find this trio chrome that I'm using looks really cool on top of the center lid shade. I'm taking a rougher number 12 brush and we're going to use this shade all along the lower lash line. The shade is so interesting. Can't tell what color is it. Is it pink? Is it green? I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown shade and just put it right in this outer corner. I know it looks a little messy right now, maybe not the best, but I'm telling you the glitter's gonna come out. I'm gonna show you with liner and lashes. Here we go. So if you are into the trio chrome goodness, I think you are really going to love this one. I mean, it's like messy, but in a good way, and it really plays with the shift. I would say for me, this isn't my cup of tea because the Trio Chrome shade in the Pat McGrath palette, I'm not too big of a fan of, but I wanted to definitely use it, and this is a way that I would use it. So it's kind of like a hodgepodge of textures and colors and shifts. I like it all together. I made it really smoky. I added a lot of black liner. So here is the final look. This final look is my favorite and you guys are gonna freak out once I add lashes but I of course had to do a look with the purple shade basically everywhere. It's really simple to do. Let me show you. We are starting off with this mauve shade right here and I'm gonna focus it in the outer corner and the lower lash line outer third. Just like that I'm gonna take my blending brush and work it out. Nothing crazy, nothing's going into the crease. Really make it nice and blushed and blended. Taking a rougher number 26 brush, this is a big pencil brush. We are going into the brown shade. I got it all on the pencil brush. I start it along the lash line and then wing it up just like this. And also put just a little bit on the lower part of the lash line. Notice how I'm keeping it on the outer third. Really, really simple. Kind of blend it a little bit. Okay, very simple. Looks a little bit weird right now. Going in with my artistry wand, I'm putting it everywhere. I'm not hitting the wing though because I don't want to mess it up. Just like that. Obviously, we are using my favorite shade in the palette, the purple shade. I'm using my finger because I want as much opacity as possible. I think to make me 100% happy with this palette, there would be more purple, like a purple or a blue tone. Not asking for it to be the whole palette, but at least like one or two shades that I could really pair with this shade, you know? It's gorgeous on its own, but I'd love to layer this over a plum which obviously I can do. I have that in my collection. It would be nice, of course, to just have it in the palette. Taking a synthetic brush, and I want to keep it nice and sharp. doesn't have to be unblended looking, but I want to put it a little bit higher, like so. Gorgeous! I mean, you can see. We can't go any other direction than glitter, okay? Put it on the inner half of the lower lash line. Going back in with the purple shade. And finally, we're gonna take the glitter shade, but if you do think the glitter is a bit much, you could also just go into the shimmer shade, but what I'm doing, I'm placing it on the inner corner, and then I am also placing it just right down here. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna do some lashes, and I'll be back to show you the final look. I told you guys, once we got the lashes on, it would all come together. I did also go in with a brown eyeliner in my waterline, and a little bit above, just to help us something for the lashes to sit on but here's the final look if you're about purple and glitter like me this is the perfect look for you I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just really wanted to show you a little bit more of the versatility that this palette had and hopefully inspire you to pull this out and play with it if you were able to pick this guy up. Let me know what your favorite look that I did down below was. This, of course, is my favorite <laughs> look, but let me know one, two, or three. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.